Today we're going to talk about ignition, a little bit about its history, from where it came, the magneto, through to modern distributors, a rebuilding service we offer, and some performance enhancers such as luminition and optronic. So Roy, tell us what we do when we recondition this distributor. Well, well, it's almost everything we do. First of all, the shaft is checked, yep. bush is changed, we change the points, the condenser, mm -hmm. the rotor arm, the weights are checked inside for the... Um, uh, the so we set curve. up the advanced yep. gear, uh, yeah. So, a worn distributor, what, what's going to be the advantages of us rebuilding it for our customer? Well, I if you're going to maintain using points, a worn distributor will... And where is it likely to be worn? You you it'll worn. be worn on the, sh uh, on the shaft and, so and the, the, on the bushes. The, the bushes become worn, worn obviously. Yeah, yeah, worn, obviously. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and possibly the shaft as well. Uh, and what detrimental effect is that going to have? Well, th that would have the effect of you having a varying gap, um, in the points, points gap, yeah. which would affect what is called the dwell angle, and the dwell angle is very, very important. because it, And the dwell angle is the, the point between the peak of the cam there and the next peak, is it? Yeah, it's, it's, it's actually the, the dwell angle itself is the amount of time that the points are closed, um, which is exactly, virtually what you said there, the, um, the amount of time it's closed. And that, that is okay, the so the point's closed just when it's past the peak, Okay. That's right. And travelling towards the next peak, that's the dwell angle there. That's right, yeah. Okay. And that, and that is the amount of time that the coil has to energise, ready for when the points open, when, uh, when that energised field collapses, um, it will induce a spark into the secondary side of the coil, which gives you your ignition as well. So you have to have that exactly right. Um, yep. the, 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 that gap and that dwell angle has got to be exactly right if you want optimum performance. So Roy, we have our rebuilt distributor here, uh, still running points, which we've talked about previously being an aspect that wears, and will continue to wear through the life of the distributor, mm -hmm. even though it's rebuilt. Mm -hmm. If we wanted to take performance a stage further, what could we do? Um, well, what we really need to do is, is replace the points, which, let's face it, is an old-fashioned system. Mm -hmm. but, um, and the best way to do that is, is with an optical system, which re replaces the points themselves with a little optical, a little beam of light yep. and a chopper sort of rotor arm, which chops up the light as it goes through. And those light pulses are converted with this little device okay. into electrical pulses which charge the primary um, winding of the coil in the same way as, as the points would have done. And by doing that, you've totally obviated the, uh, the mechanical side and, and the, the live sparks and that, which so is what causes all the problems with... Uh, okay, with so it's the, it's the point where the spring tension changing which causes the... or necessitates the need to continually reset the points. Yeah, the, the, the spring tension changes, the, the points wear out, um, they burn away basically because you've got a large spark uh, going on there okay. all the time, thousands and thousands of times a minute, um, and they will wear out. And they constantly, to get optimum performance w w work points, you have to constantly set them up. And as, uh, in particular, you should really um, set your dwell angle uh, which is the amount of time that the points are closed um, to get optimum performance. And this will vary as soon as the points start to wear, your dwell, dwell angle changes, yeah. which can actually advance and retard your, your spark. It's so by fitting luminition, you can totally eradicate? Totally. It, um, once fitted for the life of the product, which should be a good few years, um, it it doesn't need to be touched again. And more crucially, you don't have to touch your timing. Once you put it in, 
set your timing perfectly, yeah. uh, however you do it, with a timing light or on a dynamometer if it's a yeah. performance go or something like that. Yeah. And once it is set, it shouldn't vary at all as it would with points. So, so that, that is um, the best way to do it. There's actually two systems of, of illumination. There's, there's a basic system which replaces it, as we just discussed, and there's a performance system. The illumination performance system is also a constant energy ignition system. As you can see fr from these graphs, they keep a constant energy, whether you've got low battery voltage or very high revs, which is where a point system will, would tend to fail. The yellow part of the graphs show how the, the electronic system maintains a constant output. How easy is this to fit? They're very easy to fit. A few basic tools and not very much time. No at modification all. to the no, absolutely. distributor body? No, no, no. The, the system, all optonic systems are designed um, to be totally reversible. As, uh, should you want to go back, if you want to sell the car and put it back yep. to absolute so standard, you, you can. Put it back to it. standard, really quite simple. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, no problem at all. We've seen Roy's enthusiasm for rebuilding distributors. Something very close to his heart is our stock of new, original Lucas distributors. Look at that. This is, I think this is around about 1960. You can't tell from, from the number on the distributor. Look at that. Brand new, from Lucas, made in England. Absolutely brand new in the original box. We have got quite a range of these. Um, not all of them, unfortunately, but we probably can supply.